Andrew McCart, IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. I'm here with my good friend now. We've been to Miami, we've been to Dallas together. Jamie Sheldon, the cut man himself. Uh, well, the reason why you're here in Dallas, you're, you're the cut man and you're going to wrap Billy Joe Saunders ahead of this fight on Saturday night. A huge fight to be involved in. But what a week we've had. I mean, the ring situation, Team Saunders going at uh, Canelo, Team Canelo yesterday. I mean, how have you enjoyed it so far? Uh, I don't, en enjoyed it, yeah. Worn out, definitely. <laughs> uh, I feel like I've been here about a month, uh, if I'm totally honest. But it's, it's, it's what's expected. It's what's expected on a, uh, on a fight of this scale. Um, yeah, and we're just taking it all in a stride, mate. It's, it's pretty good to be working with, with Team Saunders because it's, it's a cracking bunch to work with. Yes, it certainly is. Um, obviously, there was talk about this fight not happening and Billy Joe didn't show up to the, the first head-to-head -head yesterday so a lot of comments especially for me when I done that interview with his dad Tom yesterday when he said the fight is off a lot of comments from me was is the fight on is the fight on is the fight on you've been around Billy Joe what's, what's your thoughts and have you heard anything do you think this fight's going to go ahead personally like I said yesterday yeah I don't think the fight will go ahead um because obviously you, you had the, the interview with, with Billy's dad and then my phone just exploded. But then you get all the people on social media talking, coming to assumptions and this and other. Until I actually hear it from the horse's mouth that it's off, I've not for one minute thought this fight ain't going to happen. Do you know what I mean? We're here, he's in best shape of his life, he's got the chance to become a world superstar, do you know what I mean? So, like I said, I, I'm 100% I'm sure that it's, it, it will go ahead. But like I, said, like I said yesterday, I've not had no official... Uh, information from anywhere saying it's on, it's off. It's, so I'm just, we're, we're just carrying on um, as if it's on because uh, we've got to get him ready. For you though, Jamie, I mean, Team Saunders are yesterday, I mean, it blew up yesterday. All, all day, I mean, I can't, uh, well, killer as we call him, is all over Mexican news channel going at Canelo, Team Saunders, and that. Do you think when you saw Canelo, he stuck up his middle finger, he called, he called Team Saunders an effing pussy and stuff like that? Do you think he's rattled? Um, I think it got to him a little bit yesterday because I, I, I think it was a bit more of a shock factor. Mm -hmm. I think he'll have gone away, calmed down, and, and, and he'll be fine with it now because of the, the, profe he's fired up, right? the professional he is. Yeah, he's, he's, he's going to be fired up. That's just that's just made the scale of the fight even bigger. Um, I didn't expect that from him yesterday. I didn't expect him to to react like he did to Killer. Um, but yeah, it just adds to the excitement to it all, doesn't it? Do you know what I mean? It's, uh, it's a big good, mate. I'm looking forward to it. You've been obviously you've been involved in big fights, but when you look at that stadium. To your to your right, Jamie. Look at the size of that place. Seventy thousand fans. Is this one of the, one of the biggest fights you've probably been involved in, or the biggest? Well, we've just spoke to, uh, just been speaking to Eddie Hearn, um, and he literally said it's probably going to be the biggest fight he's been involved in. So if Eddie Hearn's saying it, mate, it's by far the biggest mm -hmm. that I'm going to be involved in. And as regards the, the stadium, when we walked over there the other day, I didn't actually realise how big it were until I got up close. And then I've seen the footage from people inside the arena yesterday. It's ginormous, mate. Everything about this this fight is just massive, uh, and I, I'm just happy to be a part of it, mate. Just enjoying it. You, you seem happy and, and, and stuff like that, which is which is good to see. You've always got a smile on your face, even though you look like a, a mean bastard. You do, you, you do, you do smile a lot, which is good to see. Uh, what's your thoughts on the fight itself? I mean, you've been around Billy. You watched him on the pads a couple of days ago with Mark Tebbs. You've seen him do his thing in and around the hotel. He seems relaxed and stuff like. That. A lot of people actually giving Billy Joe Saunders a chance. I know you're part of the team, but how, how, big, how big a chance do you give Billy? I think he's got a massive chance. I think, I think he's so happy and so relaxed because he knows what, what condition he's in. Um, he's not, to me, when I see him and he's happy, it's not, he, that's not a fighter that's got any issues. I think everything has been done bang on. They've not left no stone unturned. Uh, and I saw him the other day and I was so, to see him up close training, I've never seen him up close training. I've been up close at his fights and something like that. I didn't expect what I saw the other day. Uh, I was massively, massively impressed with him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I, th I think he's got every chance it will, mate. But, uh, again, I'm, I'm seeing that sort of on Twitter and Instagram and stuff. I'm seeing a lot of people, especially people messaging me, saying that they believe he's got a chance. And it's quite refreshing to see because a lot of people don't give a lot of fighters any chance because a lot of people actually think that Canelo is unbeatable. Yeah. But do you think if anyone's going to beat him, it's going to be Billy Joe? Yeah, let, let, let's be honest, nobody's unbeatable, are they? Do you know what I mean? They've all got two arms, two legs, they breathe and they bleed. Um, yeah, Canelo's special. They, they, they don't come around uh, often like him. Um, but he's got to one, one of these days. He's going to come unstuck, uh, and I do think I do think Billy. I think he's he's going to make it awkward and, and with his movement and stuff like this. I think I think he could be man to do it. I want to talk about you again, though, like oh, Mister okay. Mister yeah, Mister yeah. Empire. Let me get that T-shirt. Oh, look, see, I just zoomed in on your big head, mate. Yeah, That's all. It's a big It's a big head. It's a big head, mate. Empire, man. I mean, you're doing wonderful things, aren't you? Uh, yeah, we try, mate. It's, it's basically the, the people that are all involved in Empire. They're all passionate about boxing and, and, and doing things like sports. So everybody's kind of put all the skill sets together and what have you. And, and I've, over years, mate, I've turned hobbies into jobs. 
and there's a lot to be said for that. Do you know what I mean? I'm not working in a factory nine to five, and I'm not saying there's anything wrong with working in a factory nine to five, but it weren't for me. Uh, th this is what it's about for me. And like you said earlier, I'm smiling again. Well, why wouldn't I be smiling, mate? It's, I'm, the, the, I'm living the ideal mm -hmm. life for me. Do you know what I mean? It's great, mate. Yeah. Well, I mean, you're here in, in Dallas, Texas. I know what you're like, man. You're a, you're a sun worshiper. You want to get in that pool. You want a sun babe, don't you? Hundred percent, mate. As soon as I'm done with you, it's a quick coffee, and I'm, I'm getting as much sun as I can. I'm gonna coffee, coffee on you. Yeah, we'll go and get a coffee, mate. No problem. Yeah, yeah. One final word, and I've got to so this is the massive fan for the fans back home. It's unfortunate we can't get the British fans out here, but Billy is under the cosh in terms of seventy thousand Mexican fans. Mexican American fans are going to be screaming against Billy. And now, knowing Billy, it, it's not going to phase him. Do you feel like that's not going to phase Billy at all? I know I've seen the ring walk for Canelo as well. It's a long ring walk with the fireworks and stuff like that. I mean, Billy being that ring a long time. Do you think that will phase him? Uh, I don't. I think he'll thrive on it. Mm. I think he'll thrive on it. I think. I think. I think we'll be more nervous than him walking out. Do you know what I mean? But we're just going to soak it all up. If if it takes ten minutes, it takes ten minutes. Just enjoy, enjoy that moment. Do you know what I mean? We're not going to rush anything. Because all he's got to do is get there. He's got thirty six minutes. Go and do his job. Do you know what I mean? The ring walk will be irrelevant to him. And like I said, the, we're going to probably get abused and things thrown at us and booed and this and other. But he will thrive on it. That's the type of kids these are. Do you know what I mean? It's, but I'm absolutely gutted for English fans that they couldn't be a, uh, to be part of it. But if you had fifty fifty with Billy's crowd and, and Mexicans in there, they probably get pretty messy, so it's probably a good thing they're not <laughs> yeah, here, to be fair. So, yeah, I, th I think he'll thrive on it, mate. I think it'll, it'll only um, fall into Billy's hands all that. I think he'll love it. Yeah, well, again, I'm going to go back, jump back to you. Now, we've been in the gym every morning since we've been here, around about the half five mark, half yeah. five in the morning. Now, you're doing a charity thing. And yeah. to, I've seen you on the treadmill for an hour every single day we've been here. Just tell people the charity you're doing it for, why you're doing it and, and stuff like that, and where they can actually donate if they want to yeah, donate. Okay, so it's, it's basically for Children's Hospital Charity in Sheffield. Uh, there's a guy on Twitter that's actually a friend of a friend. I don't know him personally. I've met him through Twitter and I met him through some friends of mine at Rotherham United. And he's he's doing a charity and it's um, 1,400 minutes of running. He weren't a runner before and he's, he's, he's got this number 1,400 which represents 1,400 kids that get diagnosed with cancer every year. Uh, so Children's Hospital Charity, they're raising money for a new cancer ward. Um, so they said, I've done a few runs with Rotherham United lads and medical staff and all that sort of stuff. And they said, do you fancy jumping on board this one? And I thought, 1,400 minutes running pretty easy but I didn't take into account how much I'm actually away and traveling so I'm trying to cram it all in I think I've got just under a thousand minutes to get done this month and I'm away for another week do you know what I mean so I'm trying to I'm trying to cram it all in um, links on my Instagram bio if anybody wants to donate and if they can't donate just watch your Instagram uh, Cutman Sheldon same as uh, my Twitter my Facebook Jamie Sheldon if it's on Facebook or um, Twitter I'll just attach the link to post and, and things like that so they can click on there they can donate if they can't donate or they've donated or they, they, they just don't want to just share it let's raise some awareness and get as much money for these kids as we can definitely well said and uh, you said you're going to buy me a coffee so let's go yeah let's crack on mate then we'll top his hands up definitely good man Jamie thanks so much mate Thank you. Cheers, buddy.